Hello, whoever is watching this, and today I'm actually going to be doing something a little bit different. Now, I don't have my pop filter on right now, so if my voice sounds a little p -p poppy, uh, that's probably why. Uh, I had the gain as low as I possibly can have it. That's because I don't want you to hear my air unit in the background. But, uh, yeah. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to download GTA 5 mods. Now, you're probably thinking, well, it's 2020, dipshit. Everybody knows how to download mods. Uh, just join any online lobby and you'll find a modder. Well, I actually don't have a defense to that. But uh, this <laughs> this is for people who may have downloaded the GTA 5 for free off of Epic Games. And are just wondering how to do it that way. Because the process for Epic Games is a little bit different from Steam. And I can see why uh, some people may want to just get into modding. Or may not want to have to you know spend all the time grinding or just don't have the time. And just want to play with the online vehicles. Now... With Epic Games, what you're going to do is essentially all Epic Game files or game files download to one drive. Whatever drive you had it set to. My uh, downloads are set to drive E, which is my 2 terabyte drive. And as you can see, I have Batman installed right here. And you can see Batman Arkham Knight right here. And this it just kind of loosely installs them into the hard drive. So if you have GTA, chances are you're going to go down to see the uh, G section of your hard drive. And you should see it somewhere right here. Now, I don't have GTA installed on Epic Games. I have it installed on Steam, which I'll get to in just a minute. But uh, if you're going to look for your GTA 5 directory, it would be right here. It would always be right here, unless you don't have it installed. Now, the process for Steam is a little bit different. With Steam, what you would do is you would go to your library, and then you would right-click on GTA 5, go to Properties, go to Local Files, Browse local files. It'll take you directly to your GTA 5 directory, which is also on my E drive. Now, you don't need any more of this as long as you keep this file open. Uh, if you accidentally close it, same process. Uh, my file, my thing maybe look a little bit different from yours. That's okay. I have a lot of stuff downloaded in the past. I deleted it all simply to make this video. Now, the first thing you're going to need is like an unpacker of some sort, so Renrar. Uh, it's not essential, but, I mean, it's free, so who cares? Uh, you can download it from either of these links. What you would do is you just go here. You click download Renoir. And, uh, yeah, you download Renoir. Uh, WinRAR. And you essentially just get it set up, and you're good to go. Now, another thing you're going to need to do, I don't know why I closed Chrome, uh, but another thing you're going to need is script hook V. Scriptic V is necessary for almost all mods. If you want to download any type of trainer, which is uh, like the little thing that pops up every time a person uses mods, and that's what they use to spawn in, you know, the online vehicles and all that, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to download Script Hook. That is essential. Now, sometimes when GTA 5 updates, they do these massive updates, and it kind of blocks you from using mods. And essentially, all your mods are going to be on story mode. But uh, you can't use them unless you have certain, you know, cheat blockers or whatever they're called to get around their cheat system. Uh, but yeah, your mod, you're going to be doing your mods on story mode, which doesn't bother some people. The reason why you would be downloading mods is if you don't have the time to grind online like uh, a lot of people do and you just want to play with the online cars, this is essentially the tutorial for you. Now, script hook has to update every time there's a massive update it blocks gta 5 from opening if there's modified files now they patch this so essentially if you have that situation gta stops opening up chances are a large uh update has come and what you would do then is you would just backtrack everything you see me do in this video you would delete all your modified files don't delete any gta files just delete the specific uh files that you will see me put in this folder so, first thing you're going to do, download Script Hook, and it'll just download like so. Open it. If you have WinRAR, it'll look something like this. If you don't, you may need to unzip it, which you should just be able to right-click and unzip. You're going to go in here, and you're going to copy these three files. So, you're going to pull up this, and then you're going to pull up this. So, when your GTA 5 directory is open, what you're going to do is you're going to highlight these. Simply just drag and drop in here. That's it. Now... You do still need, that is, essentially you've downloaded mods, but something else you need to do is you need to download an actual trainer. Uh, if you want to just go in there, this basically enables you to use mods. 
Now, another thing you want to do is get the trainer. So, you go to something like GTA5Mods.com. You go to scripts. Go to trainer. And then you can choose whatever trainer you want. Now, if you want to use enhanced native trainer, you can. My personal favorite is the simple trainer for GTA 5. One of the easiest downloads. One of the easiest trainers to use. So, let's just go with this one. You're going to go here. You're going to hit download. And you're going to hit download again. You're going to wait for it to download. Open it up. And, of course, you can see all these files. And it wasn't... It wasn't like script script hook where, you know, everything was kind of in the bin folder and you just had to copy and paste. Uh, the only things you're going to need to copy and paste are these three files right here. Now, for me, I've personally already had uh, this trainer V uh, downloaded in my directory before. So all I'll need to do is download these two. But again, what you're going to do is you're going to download these three files the readme is not you know you don't need to do that that's just instructions on how to install what you're going to do is you're going to drag you're simply just going to drop uh, if you if it says this and you've previously done it replace files and destination and boom right there you have mods now how do you use these mods for i'm going to show you how to use this specific trainer but what you're going to do is you're going to open up rockstar games launcher like normal like you're essentially just going into gta and if you installed everything correctly, GTA 5 will open. So, I'm going to skip to when I'm in GTA 5. I'm not going to put you through the stress of waiting through the loading screen. Uh, if you followed everything in this video, open up GTA 5 now. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you when I'm loaded in. Alright, so here we are loaded into GTA 5. And, you know, everything should feel normal. Everything should be the same. Uh, I don't know what's going on here. This is probably something I did before. But uh, yeah, what you're going to do is you're going to look down at your keyboard and you're going to hit F3 and that will open the basic trainer and you should, if it all installed correctly, you should see this menu pop up. Now, how are you use this menu? Well, you will use your number pad if you have one. This is uh, kind of essential. You need a number pad to do this. You can't use, you know, the numbers at the top above, you know, the WASD. You need an actual keypad to do this. If you don't, don't fret. The only other thing you'll need is a controller. Now, if you don't have a controller, then uh, I, I honestly don't know what to tell you. But if you do, then use the 8 and 2 to move down. So right now I'm hitting 2, and that brings the uh, selection down. Your selection will always be blue. And to select something, so let's say I just want to make it uh, uh, 5 in the morning. Uh, what I would do is I would go down to time using 8 and 2, and I would hit 5 to select. I would go down, and I would hit noon. As simple as that, and that could control your time, and whatever. Now to go back, however, you're going to hit 0. 0 brings you back, and it's like this for most trainers, so you use 8 and 2 to go up and down, kind of. Uh, there are some instances, so let's go to vehicle spawning, and down to, like, uh, something I know where there's multiple ones. Uh, sports. Yeah, so you're kind of like, oh, well, there's two rows here. What if I, you know, don't want to, you know, just keep spamming to go down? What if I just want to get over to the other row? Uh, another button you can press to kind of skip rows because there's sometimes multiple rows. Uh, right now, when I'm in the sports vehicles menu, so what you do is you would hit nine. Nine brings you over to the other side. However, it doesn't, you know, bring you over wherever you're at. So if I'm a comment and I want to go over to the links, what I would do is I would doesn't it just brings you to the top but from there you can go down uh, and yeah that's pretty much how you would use this uh, another thing you can do is you can turn on god mode for yourself never wanted you can go down to vehicle options vehicle options is like vehicle god mode uh, set neon color uh, you can also modify your vehicle here so let's get ourselves a vehicle go into sports and let's say I just want the rapid GT2 now, another thing that you can do is if you hear this annoying ass radio and you do not like GTA 5's radio, what you can do is you can set, uh, I believe it's in here, you can set default radio station. Uh, my default radio station is always radio off. 
and this makes it sure your radio will always be off. Even if you want to go over here to Q and try and switch it to, let's say, Los Santos Underground Radio, you can. Uh, it kind of essentially just blocks you from using everything else. So, you know, you can use this however you want to. Uh, do I recommend, you know, backing up your game files for this level of modding? There are heavier types of modding. Uh, such as, like, adding, you know, v vehicles into the game, like, actually adding in vehicles, uh, which this trainer is good for. So, this trainer actually has the vehicle spawning menu is the vehicles added menu. So, if you want to add in, like, you know, a Dodge Charger mod, where it kind of puts, like, the Dodge Charger into the game, where that would appear to spawn it in is inside of here. Now, right now, they all say to say, well, that's because I don't have any vehicles currently downloaded. That will be a separate video on me showing you how to do that. But yeah, if you've gotten to this point, then you have successfully downloaded mods in GTA 5. You can, you know, you, you can spawn in uh, online vehicles. So let's say, I don't know, uh, the Deluxa, the flying car. You can spawn that in and you know, you can use it as if you were online. So if you just want to mess around and have fun, uh, you also have, you know, all the customizability. So again, you can go into F3 and go through all here, and they actually have a vehicle mod menu, and you can just go over to Max Tune, and you can just beef up your car. That's kind of what it does. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much all there is to it. Uh, if you you can add multiple trainers to the game. Just be careful because some of them may have overlapping hotkeys. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it. And I believe in my next GTA 5 modding video, I'll teach you how to add in uh, add-on vehicles. So like if I want to add in a Dodge Charger mod, I can show you how to do that. But yeah, until then, thank you all for watching, and goodbye.